Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are talking about R R Ronaldo Rodriguez, Lazy Boy, 16 and 2, minus 130 favorite, 25 years old, 5'6, with a 65 inch reach. Fighting Ode Osborne, 12 and 7. He's 2 and 3 in his last five fight on a two fight losing streak, plus 110 underdog, 32 years old, 5'7, with a 73 inch reach. Oh my goodness, 8 inch reach. For Ode Osborne, the big thing for me in this fight is Ode Osborne's speed. He has a lot of it. He's very fast, but he's not very good. He's okay, but he's not good. Not very good, at least. Average fight time is 12.30 for Ronaldo, 5.56 for Osborne. Um, strikes land per minute is 2.00 to 3.46. Accuracy is 41 to 38. Absorbed 3.56 to 4.44. Uh, da, 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 da. Defense is 47 to 44. Here's where it can be fun. Right, right here, right here. Takedowns for a 15 minute fight is 1. 1. 1.2 to 1.27. Accuracy is 50 to 27. Defense is 63 to 64 for takedowns. And submission attempts is 1.8 to 0.2. Now we've only seen them in Ronaldo in two of two fights. You know, two. I'm very curious why I've shown a loss. Jerome Rivera, which was the contender series back in 2020. You haven't seen that fight? Go watch that one. That's odd. Odd. And then he absolutely mauled Dan's Bonder. Did get hit a little bit more than I would like, to be honest. Odie Osborne clearly has the advantage in the UFC experience. He's fought a lot of good guys. He's fought a lot. He's 4-5 in the UFC. He's been finished all five times. He has nine finishes over his 12 wins and also six finishes in his seven losses. Only been only been to his uh, judges four times. He's won three. He's three out of four on that market. Only one unanimous, two splits, which is kind of crazy. But he's also been finished five times in the first round out of his six losses. Huh? Excuse me? That's crazy. If you look at it, and then Ronaldo at that, you know, he has he's only been, you know, he has one disqualification, obviously, sure, whatever, <laughs> you know, twelve finishes out of his sixteen wins, you know, and he has three finishes in the first, two in the second, four in the second, so six in the second round, and then three TKOs in the third round, pretty good. He has lost a decision, two decisions, but one split, one unanimous, two unanimous. One split these one. This qualification is wild. Absolutely wild. You know, and to lose to freaking Jerome Rivera, who is not great, obviously he's not in the UFC anymore, but back in 2020 when this guy's 25 years old, which means he was 20 probably when he took that fight. Let's see, he's born the fifth. So let's see. Okay, so he was 21 in that fight. Went out, got a ton of experience, didn't lose. Yeah, and again, he has five wins by submission. So one rear naked choke, one guillotine, one arm bar, two rear naked, three rear naked chokes. Three rear naked chokes. Interesting. Interesting. So hasn't fought a ton of good guys, besides like Den Bonder, who isn't very good, clearly. Again, Ode obviously has the experience, has the, uh, um, Advantage and experience. It's not even close. It's not even close. And Asborn has had success He has he's had success got mauled by Brian Kelleher, which is kind of nuts kind of nuts so If you if you look destroyed uh, Adeshev Adeshev destroyed him with a, with a knockout and then uh, Tyson Nam who I'm still salty he got released from the UFC Still, does have a win over Charles Johnson, a split decision, which, that's not great, clearly. Asu Alambayov was able to submit him, and same with Jafel Filio, again, was able to submit him. So it seems like the times where you can limit his output, he loses. Because, like, Brian Kelleher, nine strikes. Or, uh, Ode, in the, in the Brian Kelleher matchup, nine strikes. In the Manel Cop, uh, matchup 18 strikes in the Tyson Nam 15 strikes in the on the uh, Asu Alan Bayoff fight four strikes and the Jeff Filio zero strikes So if you can 
if you can push the action, um, if you can implement your game plan and, and stop him from just being able to use his movement and speed, he 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 uh, gets stifled. You know, because you see these wins against like Charles Johnson, 48. If he, his other win was 7, but he knocked the guy out real quick. CJ Vergara hit 79, but she won the Namas. Crazy. Jerome Rivera, again, was 5. Finished him very, very early, which, again, weird stoppage if you've watched that. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I really, really like Ronaldo in this one. It does worry me a little bit because of the lack of fighters that he has fought, like quality fighters he's fought. I do think Ode Asbun is going to be faster. I think that's 100% apparent. I think, though, Ronaldo hits harder, you know, has 12 finishes, doesn't necessarily get early finishes. He has six of them in the second round. I'm going to keep that going. I like Ronaldo. If I finish second round, and as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know down below what your guys' prediction is, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.